What's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we're gonna be playing some Reno Pocket Galaxy Mage. Um, I haven't played this deck this expansion, and I haven't seen much of it, so I'm kind of curious to see how well the deck does. Um, for those who are wondering, um, what this deck does, this deck is not really a control deck and not really a combo deck. You kind of just do play big things for really cheap off Luna's Pocket Galaxy. Uh, this deck can technically OTK with Bran, uh, old Alex Straza, and new Alex Straza. Uh, you set the left to 15, and then th with the Bran, the new Alex Straza will deal exactly 16, which is lethal, obviously. Uh, I hope you guys can do that math. Um, you can also do it with, like, Potion of Illusion and whatnot. Um, and in general, you're just playing, like, just good cards for really, really cheap, and just hope that works out. You have two different ways to cast the Pocket Galaxy. One is obviously just casting it. The other way is through Tortolan. Uh, man, I want this card to go back to what it was. Before, it used to cast a copy of the spell, but then it was deemed too broken because you just cast copies of Ice Block every single turn and then cast a copy of Potion, and then they cost one mana, and it was really, really good. Kind of missed those days. Um, but yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, how about let's queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. Or guys, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first one. All right. First matchup. Uh, my guess is going to be Pirate Rogue. Um, possibility of Pocket Galaxy. Uh, I'll never, never say that it's not. Uh, we have to turn two book, turn three... Hero power, turn four, um, this, turn four this, keep this in hand, lower the spells for the book, we can do turn four, fire sale, turn six, reno, how many two twos are something, ooh, none, spells in the deck checks out checks out hitting ice blocks and flame ward oh. i'm not tilted you guys are tilted what on the good name of fuck that was so bad <laughs> that was the single worst book of specters i have ever ever seen uh i can do this plus zero power it's a pretty good turn i don't want a fire sale now i really want a fire sale now mid that now he's gonna attack play his other weapon i can develop kazakis getting a five cost potion or I can develop Astral, Astalor, whatever, however you pronounce that guy's name. Okay, so it's Astalor here. Astalor plus zero power. Pretty good. Depending on what he develops, Reno next turn is a possibility. Astalor, well, Astalor's not really. Kazaka is getting a five cost, so ideally gain some health. Uh, potion. There's actually a lot of different possibilities of cards I would play here. Hmm. Let's go for one cost. Fine. I'm fine cycle just cycling that. This doesn't have a class, right? No, it does not. So I've played Book, which is Shadow, and that's it. This one he has yet to play, just slam the weapon. I can play this here to gain 5. I can play this here to gain 5. Draw some creatures. That ain't bad. Hmm. 
I think I'm fine just holding back here a little bit. Doing this, playing this a little bit slower than I normally would. Um, do this, this way next turn I can freeze the board plus counter the next mini he plays. And I figured that Asselor was going to take the damage anyways. Puts me in a pretty s solid position. I can't afford to leave that alive. Just do that. I know it's not the best use of Reno, but depending on what he has in hand, um, he's kind of forced to kill this to play around Potion, to play around Barista, to play around a couple other cards. But I'm fine just doing this for now. He doesn't kill it. Oh. Looks like I had to get a keep around my Reno. Kind of next spell he plays. The reason we go for a spell, we don't want him playing. There's a couple cards we don't want to see him play. Um, second, cutting class, one of the two secret passages. This just kind of removes the one card. Uh, two cards, three cards out of his deck. Well, that was 14 cards left. It's really, really good. And those are the only cards that can really bring him back into the game. Poke, poke. Oh. No, it's, a, it's a poke, poke. This. Force a trade here. Did I miss lethal? No, I didn't miss lethal because he had minions. I have lethal next turn. Man runs sprint. Interesting. Well, he's dead. 16, 20, 24. Beautiful. Ah, uh, Astlor. What a balanced Hearthstone card. Beautiful. All right, with one dub uh, underneath our belt, let's queue up the next game and hopefully continue the train, all right guys? Yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Warlock. I think this is fine. I want to say this is fine. Oh, we have a really good curve. One, two, three, four. There's not much more I could ask for, if I'm being honest. Gain some armor. Play Ancient Mysteries next turn. Most of the cards that can get off Ancient Mysteries are pretty solid. Get developed this turn after. Vibin. I actually probably said I'm in a fairly good position here. I'm going to slam this right away. You know he's even. I guess he could technically be playing Secret Eater. I kind of doubt it. Um, so I, I don't feel too worried about just slamming. Uh, do this. Not bad, depending on what he plays here. That was a really, really early commit of the thing. I'm a little bit worried. I have taken now a lot of damage. I 
gonna coin this out. Oh, I'm fine just doing this here. Taking absolute ass load of damage. This is all of these, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Can I just say get let him proc block? Let him proc block here feels so wrong. I don't really have a choice. Oh well. He got really, really far ahead with that Giga Finn and not being able to deal with it. I mean, to be fair, he followed up with Mountain and Etheron, which is understandable. Like, that's what his entire deck wants to do. Just play that combination of cards. This really sucks out to let him proc block here for basically free. He had everything. It actually removes a substantial amount of damage off the board. What a display. Hmm. That's fine. Fine. I'm gonna continue saying that's fine because I want it to be fine. Even though it's really not fine. We're in a really, really bad spot right now. Really good card. One, two, three. Uh, ten. Oh my god, it's exaxes. Well, let's hope he doesn't have lethal. At least if he can't kill me, he's forced to kill this brand because this does kill him, right? This will just off him. This is my one. Oh, he actually had it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, if I would have potentially hit earlier the Varden. I had a chance. I needed basically to freeze the board so this way next time I could coin a Nixia and wipe it, but unfortunately we did not get there. Oh well, let's queue up the next one and hopefully uh, can get some dubs and not lose. Alright guys, yeah, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. Alright. Hmm. Another Warlock, it's not what I want to see. Uh, it is definitely one of the harder matchups. But what can you do? Uh, this is definitely one of the harder matchups. What can you do though? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, at least we do have a little bit of ways to slow him down this time. Two, three. Uh, this is still such a rough matchup. It's so hard to win this game. It's or this matchup. It's actually kind of insane. Mm. By the way, hope everyone has a beverage. I'm still uh, drinking me a monster like last time. I'm recording this slightly after my last video, um, so I'm still drinking the same monster, but. Between the videos, the new cups in my earphones came, so now they work again, which makes me very, very happy. Um, yes, I'm very excited to now not have to fuck around with 
foam and making sure that the foam is in the right place makes me very very happy um all right looks like my opponent is just afk are you just not gonna play anything kind of hoping you pulled this but whatever Uh, I can afford to do those two trades because my next couple turns are going to be trading into his minions. I don't know why he slammed Rat there. He saw that I played this on one. You should know what deck I am. Slamming Rat there is really dumb because you know I play a lot of really, really big things. Um, this hand is really bad, actually, from in this position. It's absolutely awful. If I top deck a Thinly, I'm just slamming Thinly. There's no redeeming factors to this hand. Very, very hard to pilot properly. I feel like it doesn't really get me anywhere either, which is the annoying part. Hmm. I need another piece of card draw. Okay. Kind of wish I had a potion of illusion to bounce everything back to my hand. Because I would have just slammed it here. Um gives me another copy of this, which is really, really good. He's gonna trade onto here. I mean, he has to kill this. It's way too big of a threat to just leave alive. say I would just slam it the first is pretty good rat is okay maybe Alex uh, it's not the one I wanted to hit oh well I was hoping to hit pocket galaxy to gain seven gives me a play in two turns it's not just punching in the face with a whole bunch of tiny minions and hope it's good enough. <laughs> That's quite, quite literally my plan right now. It's just punch him with a whole bunch of tiny minions and just hope it's good enough. Like what? Six, seven, eight damage a turn? Eventually it'll be good enough. Eventually. We hope. To get ratted, I'm gonna cry as he pulls my Zephyrus. I don't want I don't want him to hit. Another big ass dragon. You have the second drain soul as well. I have lethal. Okay, well, I have lethal if he doesn't trade in here or there. Hmm. Three. I had one more mana, I had lethal. Oh, is Savage or lethal? It hit. It hit. Alright, give me Savage Roar. That's the spell else he gets there. The lethal I saw was Savage Roar. Um, yeah, I guess Master Spell also got there. There's a couple other cards I think that got there. Um, but yeah. Anyways, that was pretty good. Anyways, with that being said, let's queue up the next one. Alright. Uh...
well, this year there's a lot. There's a couple better cards in it, so that's better. I mean, one it could draw me the same card, so it's like worse than worse. It's just as good, uh, except for it comes with a two-three body. But like best case scenario, it hits me like a fire sale against aggro. That's just typically game winning. But. Develop the 2 3, trades into the 2 1 and the 1 1. Um, you gotta play this next turn. You gotta play this the turn after. Play this first because it, we have a chance of hitting Ice Block, which then gives us two 1 1s at freeze, which is pretty good. We're looking for the Renos, both of them ideally. That's the one I want to hit off this. Fuck. This is fine though. We take a little bit of damage here, but we get to develop this next turn. Pretty good. The reason I was hoping to hit this off the other one was because this way I could do this, play it, plus Dirty Rat. I'm just gonna wait a turn. Leading a turn is way too greedy. Okay. This is fine. If he greeds and develops minions first. He would have greed and developed minions first, so it would have been a lot better. But at the same time, I mean. Fine. Kinda. Give me some good minions. Okay. Those are not bad. They're not ideal, but they're not bad. Uh, develop this. This way we can, um, play this to gain some armor. Trade hero power next turn. Plays his weapon. That's not ideal. Could not really have gone worse. Slam this to increase our odds of finding Renos. Fire Cell is a very, very good draw here, though. One of the best, in fact. Can't believe what just happened. Legitimately dumbfounded. Oh, I missed so hard. Oh, I'm... Super okay with that trade. Super, super okay with that. Um, we gain five armor next turn, which is pretty good, and we kill whatever he plays, which puts us just in a pretty solid position. We can kill whatever he. We can kill that. Kill both of those. Do this so we can gain a little bit, even more armor. Uh, my whole goal here is just for me to gain as much armor as humanly possible. Alright, we win. It'd be impressive to figure out a way to lose from this position. It'd be fairly impressive to figure out how to lose from this position. Next turn, we gain 10 health. We're at 18, he has one card in hand and a 1-2 weapon. Actually, we just have lethal. We 
don't even have to get in the armor. We just kill him instead. That just works so much better. So, so much better. Alright. That was that was pretty pretty well played, I would say. If I do say so myself, that was pretty well played. Anyways, we have time for one last game. So with that being said, um let's queue up uh one last game, alright? We have a little bit of time left. Let's just queue it up. Alright. Alright, not all these. They're all too slow. I don't think we need any of them. Alrighty. Interesting. So we are playing the mirror match, which was not something I was expecting to see. If I'm being honest. Uh, um, it's typically the last matchup I expect to see. But... Hey, we are we're here now. Oh no, he's on the way gate. I'm very confused if you couldn't tell. Like very, very confused. Um I'm hoping you to just draw all the minions out of my deck. Or all the spells out of my deck. Um Yeah. Drawing spells. Finishing off with the uh, turn 7 Lunas Pocket Galaxy is just ideal in this matchup. Um, yeah, this is not the matchup I was expecting, if I'm being honest. How do I get screwed by East Portal? East Portal? Okay. I'm not holding a dragon. Good for me to know. Okay. We only lost an Ancient Mystery. Not the end of the world. Um, alright, so it's looking like a turn 8, um, pocket. This game could have been going so much worse if that unstable portal actually hit. <laughs> like, if that That's not good either. Good. Okay. I think this is going to be our main win con in this game. I mean, it's a pretty solid wooden con if I do say so myself. He wants to kill this. 1000% you want to kill the 2-2 two -two here, because you know my deck should have copy effects. Okay. Let's say, if you let me just copy this for free, like, you're throwing. Develop some secrets. Ice block is pretty good. Um, yeah. Imagine if ice block said you're protected till your next turn. We can esport him. All right. How many spells are left in my deck? One, two, three. So basically anything in this corner. Anything above the bran is what I'm hoping for. Okay, that's fine too. You're in my now. You are playing objection? I 1000% thought that was just an ice block. Alright, give me pocket galaxy top deck then. I have no idea. I'm playing against just random mage spells plus Cthune. So bad. Give me Pocket Galaxy off the top. Off the rip, just give me that Pocket Galaxy. I'm okay with it. Never lucky. I'll just play a whole bunch of these 
Eight mana, eight eights. They're pretty good cards if you do ask, if I do say so myself. Interesting, you don't want to just play that to kill something. I mean, I guess if you top deck another answer to kill something, it's just as good, but odds of that were not necessarily that high. I'm expecting a Reno or an Ice Block here. I like it. I like it a lot. Deck of Lunacy Mage. He just got rid of his Ice Block, so. I'm, or, I guess he's not Reno, but he got rid of Ice Block, so I'm okay with that. It's fine. Gain six for a lot of damage. East board him. This is where clearly really good at this game and we deserve the dub. By playing some really fair two mana two twos that turn into five mana five fives that turn into eight mana eight eights. Whee! Oh that was that was a skillful win. Definitely just wasn't one because ass lore is ass lore, and if you curve out with that card, it's ridiculous. I should have rerolled this quest. That would have been a free dub. <laughs> if I would have rerolled that last video, I would have just had that completed and I could have opened another pack, but I'm dumb, so I get me. Anyways, with that being said, this deck still so much fun and as you can see did pretty pretty good um i believe pirate rogue is an actual fairly solid matchup for the deck um which kind of confuses me as why it's not played more to try and counter that deck um maybe because the sheer price of the deck right there's like only a couple legendaries four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Over half the deck is legendaries, roughly. So I can I can see why the deck isn't played more, because of that price, but it is really, really fun. If you have all the cards, I would highly recommend it. There's a lot of cards you could also change. Um, most of the legendaries, though, I'd say are mandatory, except for maybe Magister. Everything else I'd say is pretty core to the deck is the problem. For, I guess, and maybe Finley. But everyone got Finley for free, so. You know. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we can continue this train of getting dubs and maybe make to top 200 legend. Because that'd be pretty dope. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.